Did you ever, in some of your worst moments, think that you must have done something wrong in the eyes of God to deserve this? Yes. I know there is a generational curse. Maybe it originated from me. Are y'all hearing this? Don't this sound like the Hebrew Israelites? Don't this sound like the excuse for all the evil in the world? That God is doing it to the world because we turned away from God and we, we, we are cursed now, we're damned. Well, if God is the cause of all the evil, the next question would be, why the fuck is everybody mad at the devil? Why is everybody mad at the devil? If we also admit that the reason these tragedies and evils plague the world is because we piss God off. Is it God or the devil? That would be the question. See, the thing about this, right? When God fails, since we've been taught God is infallible and God is perfect, when God fails, we, we blame the imperfections and failure on ourselves. It can't be God. It must be me, the filthy sinner, right? My faith wasn't strong enough. It's something that 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 I must have done wrong, or even if I didn't do it wrong, maybe my parents done some wrong. Maybe my grandparents did some wrong, and now God is killing my son because some maybe one of my great grandparents pissed him off back in the day, and God ain't let that go. This loving and forgiving God held a grudge over the generations and said, guess what, man? I ain't forgot about that shit that your granddaddy said to me back in the day. Pile your son dead, motherfucker. Because I'm the Lord thy God. And I didn't forget about that beef. And you may be saying, but God, I didn't do it. I don't give a fuck. Your great grandfather pissed me off. So your boy got to die. This the kind of God y'all serve. You serve a God that'll be that petty. You serve a God that'll take a man's son from him in twenty in, in 2000s because of some that his great-great-granddaddies did in the fucking early, like, 1500s. You got a God of spite and, and a grudge-holding God. Just listen to what this man explained why God killed his boy. I know there's a generational curse. Maybe it originated from me or from my parents because that curse lasts for three or four generations. So in order for God to quench his wrath, he got to curse you for three or four generations where he's slaughtering you beating the fuck out of you, killing your children and doing all that till he just get tired of beating your ass and killing your children and say, okay, all right, I'm through being mad now. We we even now, nigga. I had, after he done killed so many, what kind of, how you going to say that's a forgiving God, a merciful God? Y'all are hypocritical. This is double talk. Which one is he? This don't sound like no merciful, all-loving God. This sound like a God that ain't letting shit slide. <laughs> this don't sound like no God who's quick to forgive and slow to wrath and who's so all-loving. No, this sound like a goddamn God that nigga... If you piss me off, it's on, nigga. This sound like a gang lord. 
This sound like a nigga who ain't let nothing slide, bro. I ain't let shit slide. Even if your goddamn great, 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 great granddaddy did it, nigga, I'm killing your daughter. This is a gangster ass God. How y'all gonna say this is an all merciful God when he ain't let shit slide? He revisiting the sins on the children that the forefathers did. Y'all got to pick one. Is he loving and forgiving or is he don't let shit slide? 